This is the Crossman A4P Full Auto AR-15 BB Gun Pistol. That's sick. We were at Walmart looking for soda cans, and this is what we found, and it fits perfectly. Dr. Thunder. Yeah. Oh. Well, that was a smart. We have victims. What's the matter with these cans? <laughs> these cans are defective! All right, so this thing's pretty cool. So this is the Crossman A4P. Now this is basically an AR-15 pistol, and yeah, it's select fire. It's a pistol, as you can see, you have a really short barrel on it, and then you have a, a buffer tube type thing going on back here. It's not a real buffer tube, it's not a real AR-15. This is a BB gun. This shoots 177 caliber pellets. We have the copperhead style, uh, you know, copper BBs right now. So what's kind of cool about this guy is you have the same controls that you would have on a standard AR-15. It does come with this red dot. For the BB gun, it sits a little low. Since it is so short, you can't actually shoulder this thing easily. I don't know if they make an aftermarket stock that fits this, but that'd be pretty cool if they did. I think the first thing that we notice when shooting this is this, it's really cool. It's fun, but it leaves you wanting more because that magazine capacity is so limited. Two seconds and it's completely gone. As far as the selector switch, you have safe, semi, and then full. It's not ambidextrous. I don't know how compatible this thing is with actual AR parts. And let me show you the magazine. These magazines run about 50 bucks. So inside these magazines, you have two CO2 canisters right here. So far, we did four magazines full and it's still kicking. We'll see how long these CO2 canisters actually power this thing up. But right in front over here, as I showed you before, you've got this little guy. So you take this and you drag it all the way down and you lock it to the side. Then you pour your BBs into this hole right here. When you're done, you take that and snap it up. And then it feeds your BBs. So far, it's been reliable. It's fed everything so far. Oh yeah, I like this. So to load this up, you take this tab, then you drag it down here and lock it onto the side. All the way down. Okay. There you go. Then you take BBs. So you angle the mag forward a little bit, and then just dump them into the hole till basically the BB line gets up to this back hole. You're so clean, I dumped like half of my I know, I was crazy. like, I only lost one, I think. when you're done, you just take this over, and there you go. That being said, it depletes so quickly. So I did buy a high capacity magazine to try this thing out with as well. Let's give it another rip. Another magazine, same CO2 canisters. This is going on round five. So we filled the magazine up. This is for the fifth time. So let's see. Still kicking. All right, so this is number six, running on the same CO2. Oh, the uh, bolt release does work over here. So you just press this left side and boom. So you don't have to rack it back every time. I'm just kind of used to doing that with actual real guns. So anyways, here we go. And number seven, same CO2. All right, going on number eight. This is like 20, 25, 26 rounds or so for the magazine. Let me give you a different angle. That's it. But wait, there's more. So when I went out to buy that BB gun, 
I found this on the shelf as well. So this guy is actually a high capacity magazine where you just dump a bunch of BBs in here and it has like a built-in a built-in BB pumper type thing, I guess. So you put the same CO2 in, same configuration, except it's a lot thicker. Kind of it's like reminiscent of the Surefire uh, 60 round mags. I think it's Surefire 60 round, whichever. Let's try this out and see if it's a little less annoying to load BBs in this thing. And that's it. There's nothing else that comes with it. All right, so right on this guy, you have a couple little doors. You got this guy, this is where you load your BBs. So you pull this part out right here, and that's where you put your CO2. And then this comes out the bottom, and then that's how you load your BBs in. It's gonna be a lot less annoying doing this, so let's try this thing out. It's cool. Jenna um, is gonna be, so Jenna is actually gonna throw the cans up in the air. I'm gonna try to hit them. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'll try. All right, I'm ready when you are. Do it. Nope. Hold on. This thing depletes so quick. Good enough. All right. Ready. Oh, it, it. it blew up anyways. Oh. That one too. That one too. <laughs> All right. Two Let's more. try again. Nope. Oh, that's bad. Oh. You might have got one. Yeah. Definitely got it that yeah. time. I have two steel targets and they're sitting about like 70 yards away. So completely impractical distance for this thing, but I'm still gonna try to hit them anyway. I'm gonna do a couple shots semi-auto first to see if this red dot will even get me around there. And then we'll go full auto and just plink some steel. We're shooting far away cause we're actually doing real gun stuff, real gun reviews right now. So, but I got the BB gun out cause why not? This thing is actually really fun. I don't even think I'm anything around there. All right, we're going full auto. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Well, I think you guys can actually see the steel targets now. I got my secondary camera over here, so let's see if I can get a little more on target. <laughs> well, I hit them all. These little BBs are kind of heavy though, so it's one thing to think about. I'm standing about 10 yards away, so 30 feet away from this cardboard box. It's a blank face right now. It's from one of the cool savior boxes that has like built-in targets and all that. Anyways, let's see how the pattern let's see how the pattern is dead center on the box. So you have to actually power up this side first, then this side. It says first right here, because this guy is gonna actually pressurize the magazine. This one first, listen for the hiss. There we go. Then we're gonna tighten the second one. If you tighten the wrong one, the magazine is just gonna start pissing out CO2. So you gotta tighten the first one first. So we're gonna open this door right here. And I'm just gonna fill the entire thing till it's completely full. So this magazine is way beefier, but it's kind of cool. Let's see if it works. So it's weird, this magazine doesn't seem to be holding the bolt open though. What you do is you take this, open this up, tilt it forward then backwards, close it and you're good to go again. Semi-auto is kind of cool. I'll be honest with you guys, the trigger's pretty bad, but I mean, it's a BB gun, it's not an actual AR. Semi-auto is a little slow, but then when it depletes again, all you do is open this up, 
tilt this forward, tilt it back, and you close it. And that's it. Then, So this Crossman A4P is actually pretty cool. It's fun to shoot. Um, now there's a couple things you gotta keep in mind. It has a very, very short barrel on it. So you're talking about basically from the tip of this handguard to the base of the receiver up here. So basically what that means is that you have, you're basically pushing a metal BB through a straw tube you know, for about, what, five inches or so, four or five inches, and then that's it. It's really gonna affect accuracy and all that. That being said, it's a very fun shooter. The stock magazine that it came with actually seems kind of reliable. It seems to be stopping when empty. Um, it seems to be feeding just fine. The other magazine that I bought, the high capacity magazine, it doesn't seem to have that hold open feature. So you can just kind of hear the sound difference of when it's ran empty. Otherwise, it's fun to shoot, and I'm hoping they do have some kind of a stock attachment for this because I, I like stocks. Anyways, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later.